Hey everybody, Jesse here with 3 Prong Gaming in cooperation with Modus Digital. As most of you know, I've been working on a player controller that is to be included with all the future animation packs sold by Modus Digital. And in this video, we wanted to give you a sneak peek at the current state of the mobility controller, as well as explain to you what you can expect with the next release. The goal of this controller was to provide as many animations as feasibly possible for the specific type of controller that I built. Keep in mind that what I've incorporated into this controller is still only a small subset of all the animations in the pack. With around 200 animations, there are different styles to suit your specific controller style and needs. Since beginning of the controller, we found several things that we felt would be helpful for anyone using the animations. Some of those things include curve data taken directly from the root from inside Motion Builder. What this does for the developer is it provides exact details of the character's movements and speeds in each of the in-place animations. By utilizing these curves, you can create exacting movements similar to what you get using root motions, but since they're in-place animations, you have far more control over the character. Other things that were recognized was that the jumps were set as solid state jumps. What that means is when the player jumps, the given jump animation plays all the way through, regardless of how high you jump. While in certain situations this may be useful, I convinced Modus that they needed to include a standard jump start, jump in air, and a jump landing animation set. These animations provide the developer with greater opportunity to decide how high they want the characters to jump while maintaining a fluid motion from start to finish. It will also allow the developer to allow for a character falling off of a ledge by incorporating the in-air animations. Finally, while going through the animations, it was realized by Crispin at Modus that some of the animations did not match as they should, and it's providing him the opportunity to go back in and tighten up some of these animations. Moving forward, and starting with this mobility pack, all animations across all the different packs, whether it's their mobility, rifle, pistol, or even their conversation pack, will all be pose matched to work fluidly together. This means that you'll be able to combine different animations from all their separate packs and not notice any change in between them, such as different shoulder heights. We're nearly completed with the work on the current version of this controller and animation set. From the developer standpoint, now that I have all the major functionality incorporated, I need to go back in and time the animation blends and weights to be a little more fluid. The code is also in need of a major refactor, and I'm going to do this in version 4.15. From the animation standpoint, we still need to get together all the new jump animations, consolidate some curves, and pose match a few more animations. Once all these things are done, and I'm estimating only a couple more weeks or so, the first release of the updated animations, including the controller, will be available as a free update to all current mobility basic and pro pack owners, and will also be available for all future owners of the packs as well. After the completion and initial distribution of the controller, you can look forward to a small tutorial series on my channel showing you how to build this controller using these curves. If you're not a subscriber to my channel now, consider becoming a subscriber to learn how to create this controller as well as to access many other Unreal Engine game development tutorials. And until next time, peace.